So what's going on guys? You see the topic of the video, pretty much my passion in reselling and why it died. <laughs> I mean, this past year, year and a half, when it comes to reselling, your boy has been doing the bare minimum of the minimum. And really in 2024, besides this last month, I have been doing absolutely nothing with reselling. Luckily, I've still been making sales, but I'm going to get into all that in this video. Why I completely just hated reselling there for a long time and it's because of some of the people in reselling and some of the things that i did myself so i'll get into all that and more in this video so if you guys don't know i have been reselling for almost five years now maybe six five years and for three and a half years it was a full-time thing like i didn't do nothing but resell like resell was my main source of income so i enjoyed reselling man my passion for reselling was there i was being introduced to other resellers and gaining knowledge that i never had one of my best friends till this day he's a reseller i met so many people in reselling um my baby mother i met her in reselling uh so reselling it just changed my life completely it got me out of debt it basically did things for me that I never thought would happen, man, because I made so much money in reselling. And when I say I made so much money in reselling, like I'm dead ass when I say that. Like I started with 30 bucks, man, and I've made thousands upon thousands of dollars in this reselling game, man. I still have inventory that is profit if it sells. If it never sells and I throw everything away that I have right now, I'm still in the green, I'm in the profit. And I have so much inventory still. But with that being said, over this last year, man, I've been making a lot of transitions, man, moving back home to South Carolina from Michigan. So a lot of my inventory was still in Michigan. And before I even moved to Michigan, a lot of my inventory was still in South Carolina. So I had two eBay stores going on that people were basically just shipping my items for me. Um, one eBay store, I was basically giving them majority of the profits and it was just it was kind of draining, man. And then, then on top of that, there was a lot of little things that was happening to me in my life when it came to reselling that just, it sucked, man. Like one of my Amazon accounts got suspended just out the blue, out of nowhere. Uh, I would love to say it was something that I did on my own, but it was just one of those things where every once in a while, some people get screwed on Amazon and I just happen to be one of those people. But luckily I learned you have to have multiple accounts and I still do have an account on Amazon, but it's like the motivation kind of dies down because you get just restricted in so many products now and there's just so many resellers who mess up the game and that's just what it really is like a lot of people mess up the game a lot of people be selling false items a lot of people don't have in, uh, receipts for their inventory that they get so there's a lot of things that happen that you can't control in reselling that just messes things up i mean fees happen things prices go up on fees shipping and one of the things that people don't talk about man is reselling is a full-time job man full-time job i woke up and felt like i had to ship and get stuff out and asked also you have to go sourcing you have to go list you're always on the road you're always on the move like reselling is a full-time job man i quit a 40 to 50 hour job because i was like hey man i'm just trying to chill i'm not trying to go hard and reselling and that's what it ended up being man i was putting in like 70 to 80 hours a week in reselling now granted maybe like 15 hours a week of that was probably editing YouTube videos and making YouTube and stuff like that. But still, I consider that part of the reselling journey because I wanted to show people like, yo, if I'm out here making this money, you can too. Like that's what it's always been about for me. Like if I can go out here and grind, you can too. But I got completely out of debt years ago and it's like I moved to Michigan and if I can be, can be completely honest about Michigan, man, Inventory was not as plentiful as it was down here, man. I could not shop enough Goodwills in a day in Greenville. You can do that in a day in Michigan in the town that I was in. Granted, you would have to drive far off to go get better deals and stuff like that. But it's just like, once you come from a place where I can go right down the street and get so many profits just by like driving down one road versus having to drive 45 minutes just to one destination, 45 minutes home, and then 45 minutes to another. Like that can get kind of time consuming gas consuming and just like i don't know man inventory wasn't as plentiful and granted bin stores were always a place that i loved going but they start putting a lot of their best items online even goodwill is doing that now so if you go to goodwill you're wondering why they don't have the best products no more is because those bad boys are online unless they just happen to miss an item which they do um 
So reselling has definitely just gotten harder, man. And then mentally, man, me having to move back home and then just like mentally, a lot of stuff that was going on, man. The passion just to wake up in the morning and work really wasn't there. <laughs> you know, I can't lie. Um, and then I wanted to spend a lot of time with my son, man. Me going on that TV show 60 Days In, I felt like I missed, you know, I did miss the birth of my child, which I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say I don't regret. I mean, it sucks that I didn't get to cut the umbilical cord. I saw the birth. I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? I don't regret anything that I did when it comes to that situation or the um, the decision that I made. But at the same time, I was like, I felt like I just want to spend a lot of time with my son. So I, I, I'm a, I guess I'm a kind of person who I can't concentrate. So if I'm trying to resell and go through inventory, my son's playing, I'm kind of focusing on him. I'm going to like, hey, what is he doing? You know, so that was part of my problem, too. And I don't know, man. Like I said, the, mentally, I was just going through a lot, man. So I, I just was not motivated for nothing and that when i say nothing you probably noticed because the youtube videos they were few and far in between like man my motivation and love for just a lot just like was gone man um luckily i'm in so much of a better place than i was but man yeah i wasn't happy man and you know, it was really nothing that, you know, my surroundings call. It was just like my, I just have like bad luck, man, sometimes, man. It's crazy. Like my luck isn't the best. Um, I got introduced to this nonprofit organization and they kind of like promised me a, a division of my own and just like promised me the world. And I invested a lot into them and like they ended up kind of like giving me the runaround and just like that just happened to me a lot when it came to people I was dealing with. You know, there was another family that I wanted to do one of my conventions at and it was just kind of no proper communication. They really didn't seem like it. And then when I, once I said something about it, I was like, you know, you really don't seem like you're not communicating properly for us to have a business transaction. They kind of just was like, well, I really don't, you know, what I'm saying? so it's just like people. I don't know, man. Uh, my luck when it comes to people in general, man, even like just like a, the reselling community. Uh, there was a lot of things and people that I crossed paths with that for some reason they made me promises and just never came through with. People took my ideas and ran with it on their own. Uh, there was just a lot of stuff, man, going on, man. And, you know, I, I just decided to fall back from all of that, man, and including reselling. Now, granted, I was still making sales and I still have to ship stuff out because I had over what a thousand items in my stores combined and then i have an amazon store that thank god that's why i love amazon because all the stuff that i've sent in to amazon for the past three or four years like that stuff has been selling slowly i just sent in a new ship in amazon this year <laughs> if i could be completely honest and i mean i'm glad i did because that shipment almost made me a thousand dollars but besides the point the point is, man, my passion was just gone, man. And it may not have just been for reselling. It just may have been for life, if I can be completely honest, man. Nothing crazy, like I was about to do anything crazy to myself. It's just, you know, I was just in a law where I was just like, you know what? I wake up, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I have enough money to survive. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not really stressed. So I don't have to go sourcing today or I don't really resell or need to resell as hard as I want to. Um, it was easier for me just to get a job again especially the job that i had because before i was a manager i was a server and i was making a killing as a server i mean i made a video about how much money you make as a server and i mean i just had a good shift yesterday so i make good money as a server so sometimes you can get lazy and i'm like you know what i make good money whatever i'm kind of lazy but i don't want to fall back into getting lazy because when i started this reselling stuff it was for me to get out of debt i had a real goal and a purpose and i achieved that goal like I'm proud of myself for doing all that. But now I have a whole son. So when I went to trucking school and I got this job, it was really for more security purposes. I may use the trucking in the future, but um, I got it because it was free. And I said that during my trucking uh, video, if you've seen that. Um, yeah, I got me a whole CDL and I haven't even used it. I'll probably end up using it probably like next year or something. but. I just became a manager again at my job, so I may ride that out for about a year and just see where we go with that. But um, I don't know. And I've been picking up a lot of reselling. So, oh, man, I don't know, man. My passion was just not there, man. And for me, it's completely OK. I needed that. I needed to fall back. I didn't need to post videos because you guys would have seen how 
I don't want to use the word depressed, but down I was. And I didn't need you guys to see all that. Me making videos, trying to act cheery and happy. Bless somebody today and I'm going to bless somebody tomorrow when I just didn't feel like blessing people sometimes. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, don't get me wrong. If the boy could, I was definitely still me and blessing people and trying to provide some kind of happiness to somebody. But I just felt like I wasn't being fulfilled in my journey when it came to like reselling man there's a lot of stuff behind the scenes that you guys don't know man like a lot of stuff man it's just crazy how my life works like that sometimes man you know a lot of bad things happen to me that's out of my control now i don't know if it's like from past karma from a past life that i did something if i was a king somewhere and i was just like a horrible king and was just like torturing people i don't know what it was man but i feel like there's some kind of karma that's catching up to me somewhere along the lines because I don't know. And it's also weird because I'm never struggling financially. It may feel like I'm about to struggle financially, but no, I never do. But it's like I can never get over that super hump that I'm trying to achieve, man. There's a, there's a number in my mind and I'm about to make a, cr a crazy video to try to get to that goal because I think if I make it a goal, 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 I'm going to achieve it. Uh, yeah, there's a goal and I want you guys to ride along with me on that journey to see if I can achieve and we're going to see if we can do that. But um. Yeah, that's just what, what's been going on with me lately, man. Um, becoming, you know, a single man, leaving, you know, my family behind and coming to South Carolina. That's been hard. It's just a lot of stuff, man. And, and thankfully, like my son is in my life completely. And I have a wonderful baby mother. She's like a, she's basically my friend. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I am so blessed in so many different areas of my life, man. And Sometimes I can get so down on myself and when I do, I make excuses of why I shouldn't do something or like I said, man, I just don't be motivated, man. And I'll just sit in a lull and it's crazy, man. It's crazy. But hopefully in 2024, I can break that, man. Like I keep telling you guys, I'm gonna make some more videos, but I'm getting better. Like I feel 2024 has just been crazy as a whole. I felt like a lot of people from my past have been coming back, revealing things to me. And I've had some crazy experiences. <laughs> it's just, when I tell you my life is crazy, people really don't understand that. You know what I'm saying? And it's just not, it's, it's just crazy in just so many different areas. But um, yeah, guys, that, that's why my passion was just kind of like gone, man. I felt like I was going through so much, man. I was doing crazy things i was i don't know man not crazy crazy things but i was just kind of didn't care about life man you know what i'm saying i was just going with the flow and just was like yeah whatever you know living like the only thing i really lived for was my son and that's great and all but I, you got to live for more than that you know so how can you really make somebody else happy if you're not happy <laughs> like how can i make my son happy if i'm not happy luckily i can get myself right before he becomes an adult but i don't know i don't know life is just crazy and this is not about to turn into a whole counseling video or nothing like that. But I just want to let you the guys kind of know what was going on, man. Why I have been kind of MIA. Because I have some loyal people who follow me, man. And I am so grateful for you guys, man. I am really blessed when it comes to that, for real. I know some of you, you rock with the boy, man. And y'all be sending me emails. Y'all be hitting me up on Instagram. Y'all be hitting me up on Facebook, TikTok. Y'all just be like sending me messages. And some of you check up on me wondering, what's up? I come here ain't posting no videos. Am I still reselling? What am I trucking? What am I doing? So I do appreciate all that love, man. All the 60 days in love too. I really appreciate that. I try to throw most of that content on the other channel, the Prison of Profit Life channel. But, uh, I don't know, man. We're gonna we're gonna try to get more active on this reselling stuff because yeah, boy, I like money. I ain't gonna lie, I like money. So we're gonna see if we can get some of this money. But uh, anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. I feel like I've rambled enough. I will definitely see you guys in the next one, man. And make sure that you bless somebody today, because I promise you, definitely promise you, I'm blessing somebody tomorrow. But at this point in time, your boy Tay, I'm out.